Hello, gentlemen. Hello. Hey. Welcome to Bound Gods. Please introduce yourself to our members. First. I'm Brogan. I'm Logan Aarons. Welcome, both of you. Very excited to have you on set here today. Very excited for the scene we have planned for both of you. Uh, I would love to start talking to you, Brogan. This is your first time doming for us yeah. here, men. How are you feeling about your day? I'm pretty excited. Yeah? Yeah. Anything particular you're looking forward to or anything uh, that you're feeling? Well, I want, to, I want to work with this guy for a long time, so I'm very excited for that. <laughs> agreed, agreed. <laughs> almost two years coming. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. Yeah. I'm just excited. <laughs> I'm excited as well. I think it's going to be a great scene. Logan, welcome yes. back. Thank you. It has been too long since we've seen you here on Cave Men. I agree. You look beautiful and gorgeous as ever. Thank you. I'm very excited to see you suffer today. <laughs> I'm excited to suffer for you. You do it so well. Uh, tell me a little bit about your experience so far on Cave Men and some of the things that maybe you've enjoyed and some of the things maybe you've learned about yourself on, on your journey so far. Of course, yeah. Um, so I started about maybe two years ago, uh, my first uh, sub role, whatever. Obviously extremely nervous uh, because I'd never personally played with kink in my per private life. That's trust issues, that's other things to talk with my therapist on. Uh, <laughs> but having the support of multi multiple people behind the background, making sure that like they're checking in, keeping an eye, like paying attention to my body language, not even just my verbal communications, uh, made me always feel really secure. Uh, with that, it opened my realm quite a bit. Um, I think I mentioned it earlier, I've never come so hard on set <laughs> outside of kink scenes. I don't know if it's because I'm a control freak in my personal life that I do like to be the sub, the sub and it, it, it gives me an that I haven't worked for, but I've always enjoyed it. That's why I come back. So wow. I'm very happy to be back and I recommend everyone to try it. Thank you so much for that. That's amazing. Uh, Rogan, what is your experience with BDSM outside of filming? Uh, in my 20s, I definitely was very getting into like being a sub in my personal life. Uh, definitely the last few years I've been doing more, uh, trying to get into more like dom play also, you know. Get a the little, natural progression. The natural progression. Yeah, when you, It's tough when you like go out and like, and you hear daddy more than boy, then you're like, okay, I kind of just need to roll with it. But it's been a, it's been a nice little <laughs> transition for me. I'm very, very excited. <laughs> I think that you're going to fill the shoes perfectly. Uh, I want to just jump back a little bit. Logan, you were talking about feeling safe and secure and trusting that your limits are going to be respected. And that is of utmost importance to hear, hear it for us. At we love to have everybody go home feeling like they were safe and respected and their limits were respected and that they were secure and happy about the scene. So here at you play with safe words. Your safe word today is red. If at any point things get too crazy for either one of you, any reason you need, uh, you just need a break, you need a sip of water, you want to have a private conversation, any reason at all, you can get your power to use your safe word and we will stop everything. We will check in on you and we will make sure that you are okay and we will only continue the scene when you say so and you feel comfortable enough to do so. Um, consent is revocable at any point today. If you feel uncomfortable with anything that you're doing or you said something in your limit sheets that you said yes to but now you've changed your mind, that is 100% okay and encouraged. We want you to feel empowered to say when you feel like you're doing something you're not okay with the same way that you trust. We want you to trust us that you can use that your safe word to speak up for yourself the same way that you trust us to listen when you say that. Okay. Um, cool. If you have a gag in your mouth, anything that prevents you from speaking, you can look directly into the camera, shake your head back and forth, going ah 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 ah. That will also indicate red, and the same exact thing will stop. If you need it to slow down a little bit, but you want to stay in character, you can tell Brogan mercy or yellow, and that will also tell him that you're okay to continue the action. It's just getting a little intense, whatever the action is, to change it up, you know, ease up a little bit, change spots. But you can continue going. Does that sound good? Sounds wonderful. Okay. Today, Logan, you're going to be tied up. You're going to be 
uh, experiencing corporal punishment, flogging, cropping, uh, humiliation play with being made to crawl around, uh, lip boots, all kinds of things that are going to happen to you in bondage. You're going to be playing a role where you are forced against your will to be participating in these behaviors. Um, there's going to be what we call a CNC or consensual non-consent play. How do you feel about all that? 100% confident. I'm excited. Awesome. That's fantastic. Brogan, how about you? Same. Cool. Well, guys, uh, if you don't have any questions for me, I'm excited to get this thing started. Let's do it. Awesome. Have a great shoot. Thanks. <laughs>